Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Glitchcraft, where today we are going to be doing a little bit of a smaller project uh, in, you know, anticipation of a bigger, cooler thing. So, uh, what I've wanted to do for a very long time uh, in this, uh, ever since I learned about it in this mod pack, is I wanted to get the upgraded version of the Division Sigil, which is the pseudo-inverted sigil which basically is a division sigil which has unlimited uses and can be used to make higher level like versions of unstable ingots which can make better versions of the um, items you can make with inverted, uh, not inverted, unstable ingots and uh, stuff like that. So that's something I wanted to do for a very long time. It also allows us to, I think, potentially do some auto crafting of it because you can use them in, because um, it has infinite uses. I think you are able to do auto crafting with it. We might have to see when we get it. Um, but that'll also be quite cool. But to do the ritual, uh, we have most of the things already, or we can easily get them. But one of the things we don't have is you need 12 music discs. And from what I understand, you have to get one of each of the uh, vanilla music discs. There are 12 of them up to, uh, obviously, wait here. Um, and we have a total of two. Uh, we have uh, 13 and Cat, which are these two here. So we're missing out on 10, uh, which means we need to get you know, the remaining uh, 10 of them. And really the only way we can, you know, reliably get a lot of, um, reliably get a lot of music discs is one method, which is getting a skeleton to kill a creeper. Uh, so what we're actually going to be doing today, I think, is uh, setting up a little, you know, creeper skeleton killing farm thing. It's only going to be a temporary thing because we only really need the music discs for you know this ritual i'm not really ever going to use them after this um actually though to be honest are there crafting recipes no there are not so essentially uh we just need a ton of obsidian which is good because we have funnily enough a ton of obsidian and uh, i'm probably just going to place it in here similar to how i've done that one in the middle of there um and you know covered in obsidian because i don't want it to blow up stuff and hopefully uh, the blast doesn't go through and destroy these things so if it does i can just craft more they're not that expensive uh, anymore. So that's something we've got to do. Uh, and what I think I'll do, which is a very uh, cool thing that we're going to be able to do, is we can have a um, a auto spawner, which uh, can have a creeper at like one heart uh, that we can set up so that they drop super easily. Either that or I think we'll start off with just normal creepers. So I'm going to have to go uh, get a few of those and pick them up with uh, a few safari nets, I think. and um, yeah, we can we can get this all started. So I'm actually going to build a little bit of a uh, you know setup here that I think will work well um, with you know a cubicle for one uh, skeleton cubicle for the uh, creeper far enough away that they're not going to the creeper's not going to blow up and that the skeleton can still see us and shoot the creeper. So I'm going to have to work out how that's going to work. I will have a look at it, and I will see you once that's done. Okay, so it's not the nicest looking thing in the world, but I think it should end up working. So what we're going to have to do is a bit of an awkward thing where we're going to have to set up a spawner um, right near it, just for the sake of convenience, I think. And I'm going to just put it center, even though it's going to get destroyed later. I want a creeper spawner here. Uh, basically, we're going to put this in there. I'm also going to quickly just make sure I've actually got a uh, that thing there so I can turn this off. I think. Yeah, so I can actually have a lever there. We actually need... Uh, actually, no. Tesseract should be fine uh, then to, to be always powered. So I'm going to have that there and that flowing into it so it's always you know set up like that. So... Then gonna have a creeper safari net in it. We're gonna take this and put this one in here. And we need to quickly check that he can actually hit us. You gonna are you that bad at hitting us, right? Let's see if There we go. So he definitely can hit that block, so that's the good thing there. Um we also have to make sure that he doesn't despawn, so let's just put him in our safari net for the moment. So that's going to be that. Then we need to pick up another creeper when that happens. Come on. 
Thank you. And the plan here is uh, we need to actually, yeah, we need to actually check this. Is this should be 23 blocks above uh, thing, and I think it's 23 blocks for uh, putting them to half a heart. Yeah, so what are you at now? Half a heart, good. Perfect. And then you're going to go there. No, you're not. No, don't die. Don't die. Thank you for not dying. And there we go. So, <laughs> that's good. I just need a... Uh, I might name tag this uh, skeleton. That might be a good idea. Uh, either that or put him in a uh, jailer safari net if I can get one of those. Uh, so far, how do I get one of those? Jailer safari net. Safari net single use. That's actually... Yeah, so that should be fine. How do I get one of these? Release creatures don't despawn normally. Release creatures will always display their name tag. Oh, I don't care about name tags. Uh, so we'll just go with the normal one. Actually, I should be able to craft that, I think, straight away. Yep. I think I have a ton of those uh, lying around the place. So let's just do this and then that. And I was so worried that he was going to die from the sun then. So I'm actually going to, I think, pick up a few creepers. Um, I'm actually, yeah, I'm going to test if I can get three creepers, put them all up there, and then throw all three down as well. I was actually going to put a vacuum chest there, but I did realize, obviously, I've got my own... Uh, version of that. So yeah, seems to work. Um, and hopefully we get a lot of these uh, sorted out. So yeah, I'm going to capture a few creepers first. Let's wait for three. There we go. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Two and three. Just so they don't, you know, uh, end up blowing up because I'm near. Damn it. That was not supposed to happen. That's why I have extra cobblestone. Okay, so let's actually... Let's do it one by one then, I guess. is probably the best way to do this. Oh no, he's gonna die. Yeah, cause he took damage for some reason. <sighs> All this effort for one creeper at this point. All right. You, you're gonna wanna blow up. Not going to though. You're going to do that. I'm going to release you there. Oh, I just realized, yeah, it's a single use thing. But you shouldn't despawn, so that's good. And then, yeah, we can get some gunpowder and some uh, discs out. So I'm going to do a few of these, I think. Um, I might actually set the spawner up here and then have it flow water down. Actually, no, that's not going to work. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll... I'll I'll do this and see if I can get all the discs uh, that we need. Okay, so I took about an inventory uh, full of my uh, current inventory. I took about uh, yeah that entire amount full of uh, single use safari nets just to make my life a bit easier. Since I had a few, filled them up with some creepers, and here we are with quite a few creepers. And obviously we've got that on the end. So I'm hoping that this can be our last sort of small batch uh, of creepers because if we look here. You can actually see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different music discs right now uh, out of the twelve. So I'm hoping, you know, these, <laughs> however many, uh, are able to. I think it's just under 27, or it would be. No, actually, it might just be around 19 ish. Well, I assume 19, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20, 22 ish. Uh, actually 21 I think because I, I know one definitely died so I don't know we'll have to see I guess we can actually see from the amount of music this we get out of this can't we that's always a good thing about these guys um, I kinda wish I made this skeleton a bit closer because there are times he is missing which kinda sucks uh, let's actually just have a look from you know just the small amount that we have here if there are any that don't look like we already have um, fortunately, oh, that's one that we just got, that one there, uh, Stal, we actually don't have one of. So, let's just, there we go. Is that a new one? Nope. We can't, we'll see when we get a new one. It will, uh, there we go, there's one, there's a new one, it looks like, record. Um, far, 
as well. Looks like it might be a new one. And then uh, style record is another one. What's that? Nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have all of them. Awesome. So we now have all of the uh, things we need. Let's actually have. Uh, we can kill the skeleton now. We don't need it. Sorry, skeleton. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to set up my digital miner just to pick up some obsidian in the background, so that's going to be fun. Uh, but yeah, that's actually, I think, everything that's sorted out now. Let's just quickly... Um, this might actually pick up more obsidian than I'm hoping it does, because I'm going to have to configure it to uh, go to, like, stuff from 200 um, at the current moment. I'm keeping those two in there for the moment, because basically... I don't have any spares. Uh, actually, no, the, 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 uh, that one can actually get deleted. It's the uh, that one I can't get rid of because I actually don't have any left. Because someone was clever enough to delete it, that person being me. Uh, so let's put that there. Configure it. It's going to export out the back. And let's power it. So yeah, hopefully that gets rid of all this. This should be fine. Uh, let's see where it's starting. At the bottom it looks like. Let's pick up the piston and the cobblestone and the lever. Where is it? Where is it starting actually? Oh, it's starting down here. That's, I guess, <laughs> where else would it start? Um, so yeah, I'm going to get rid of all that. That's going to be fine. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, I think. Uh, I don't know how long it lasted, but uh, yeah, it was supposed to be a bit short anyway because of the nature of it. Uh, but in between episodes now, I'm going to hopefully uh, get all the other stuff that we need for the ritual and, you know, have a little bit of more research into it to see what else, you know, I have to do. Uh, if there's anything special I need, if I need to set up, set up anything for it. Um, yeah, I think we should be fine. I think this was the only one I looked at that, you know, was a bit more difficult. There is uh, some potions that we got to make, 12 potions, I think, but uh, I think I should have the resources, though, to make those because they're all craftable. So that's going to be fine. Um, yeah, I think that's it. And I'll also have to get the other stuff. Uh, I think there's a few bits of food that we also have to get, which I can go looking out for. Uh, or I can potentially borrow some from Chrono, because I think he should be fine with that, as long as I replant him. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time, where hopefully we're going to get that ritual done and completed. I hope we really do, because it's going to be really useful. But yeah, thanks for watching, and bye-bye.